The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate various stages of the hepatitis C virus replication cycle. This is accomplished by first generating HCV genomic RNA transcripts from linearized HCV plasmid constructs. The second step is to transfect the cells with HCV RNA. Next, the cells are plated for various time points and assays. The final step is to collect the cell culture supernatant for measuring viral titer and harvest transfected cells for protein and RNA. Ultimately, reverse transcription PCR, western blotting, immunofluorescence assay, and HCV titer are performed and demonstrate a robust HCV infectious cell culture system. The main advantage of this infectious hepatitis C virus cell culture system over the HCV replicant system is that viral entry, prion assembly, and egress steps can be investigated. This protocol can help answer the key questions in the hepatitis C virology field, such as virion morphogenesis and host pathogen interaction. The implications of this technique extend toward vaccine development as it allows characterization of attenuated viral strains that can be evaluated as potential vaccine candidates. Though this method can provide insight into hepatitis C virus, it can also be applied to other RNA viruses in the family of Flaviviridae. Generally, individuals new to this method will be faced with the challenge of generating high-quality HCV genomic RNA. Studying the complete replication cycle of HCV became feasible in cell culture following the discovery of a genotype 2A HCV Japanese fulminant hepatitis 1 isolate. Visual demonstration of virological assay is critical because the assay requires...